Terry and Greg Reynolds moved to Cape and Bridge seven years ago. A commercial prompted Terry to take an interest in alpacas so her dog, a great Pyrenees, would have something to guard outside. Today they own and manage Bear Garden Farms. They sucker punch you with their looks. I mean, they just take the wind out of you. They're just, they're so graceful and elegant and just beautiful. And um, then I discovered the fiber and I'm a, now a hand spinner and a weaver and we own a, um, we're partners in a um, Cape and Bridge Fiber Works. Alpaca fiber is actually very soft. It's hypoallergenic and it's about six to eight times warmer than wool. We shear them once a year, uh, usually in mid-April to mid-May. They're shorn and we have a group that comes out and um, it took them a day and a half to do 85 alpacas. These cute animals are actually not native to the United States. So where did they come from? They're from Peru, Chile and Bolivia. They came into the United States in the mid 80s for the first time. Um, up until then, the Peruvians um, did not let alpacas leave the, their country because it was like their national treasure. Reynolds says she has 92 alpacas on the farm. A portion of them are part of the Reynolds herd and the rest are boarders. Kathy Brown became interested in alpacas because she likes to knit. This is Rhiannon and she was born, uh, she's a week and a day old. And she, her mom is Macariah, who was our first alpaca, and her dad is Exclusivo, and um, we're quite excited about her. Brown says she and her husband have never had any experience with livestock, and they're enjoying learning how to care for alpacas. Before you leave the farm, make sure you stop by the store. You can actually buy yarn made from the alpacas outside. You're welcome to stop by and visit the farm. It's a pleasant drive 15 miles west of Winchester on Route 50. I mean, they're very timid animals, but there's a lot here that you can that you can touch. The one raised on raised on our farms are generally very friendly and will come right up to you. For more information, click on this story at tv3winchester.com. In Cape and Bridge, Cassie Behofist, TV3 News.